Hello everyone, today I am going to show you how to create Fresnel effect in Nuke using some auxiliary passes. So before we start in Nuke, I show you a brief about Fresnel effect. So here is my presentation. So what is Fresnel effect? The observation that the amount of reflection you can see on the surface depends on the viewing angle okay so this is a basic definition of Fresnel effect now I'll show you how this effect work okay so this is my surface this is a side view of surface and this is my view angle so you can see the near by plane and reflection like this and this is your far distance so over here because of this stiff angle you get weak reflection and over here because of flat angle you get some strong reflection ok I will show you one example like over here ok so this is the water surface that is reflective surface so over here you get weak reflection and here strong reflection same way if you consider a spherical object then when you see that particular spherical effect this is the tangent of that particular surface so here on edge you get some strong reflection and over here you get some weak reflection in center so likewise in this even here uh, that I render through Maya Arnold so over here you get some strong reflection on edges and in center you get weak reflection ok so what is Fresnel shader a Fresnel shader will let you specify a specular color for part of a surface directly facing the camera and another specular color to be seen on a part of a surface that are perpendicular to the camera ok so this is the basic idea of a Fresnel shader so what you need to create Fresnel mat or Fresnel effect in Nuke so we need some auxiliary passes and what are those passes first one you need normal pass ok so the normal pass it is basically represent the normal at the shading point and one more pass you need is point position pass the position in world space coordinate of the shading point so here each pixel store the x y z information of that particular uh, rendered area in 3d space and one more thing you need is that 3d camera through which you render that particular scene or object so obviously uh, with camera moment so uh, you can store that particular information in MA format or in FBX or in Alembic format so let's move into Nuke to learn how to create Fresnel effect so first of all I import my render sequence okay, I just select press 1 and you can see here 
this is my rendered image in which because this is exr file and you have to store that contain in exr file because uh, here specifically in position pass you have to store information of x y z you can see over here it store minus 5.13 1.67 and in z minus 2.6 so for this purpose you need to store or render this particular image in open exa format so here i have some auxiliary pass like normal pass and position pass okay one more thing we need from that 3d application is your camera so for that i just click over here in 3d camera here in file you have to click read from file click over here and here i save that particular camera moment in alembic file that is dot abc file and just open so yes and i just select this thing and press 1 and now you can see i got that particular camera moment make sure then whenever you import from alembic file your fps should be match with the render setting of your any 3d application like uh, i render this particular content on 24 fps so here in alembic file your fps should be 24 okay now i'll show you one tool that not necessary but uh, to explain what position pass do so here in geometry i go to position to point and i apply this image on my tool and here in property panel you have to define your surface point and that is your position pass and in surface normal you have to define your normal so here end So now you see each pixel located as a particle in your 3D space through this point position pass. So now I create one scene. I put this camera over here, position pass over here, and you can see both. So this is the basic idea of position pass. So right now I do not need this position to point. So I just delete this thing. I even do not need this scene. So I delete this also. Now what you need to create your Fresnel effect. So here in 3D menu in light you need one relight node. Okay. And here I create one light and that is your point light. Now in point light there is one option. This axis. So if you apply some input light camera or maybe axis on this input. So it will directly connect the transform contain of your parent input so for example if i apply camera over here so now you uh, see in viewport that my light connect or the 
transform information transform from camera to this light so now your light move with your camera okay this is very important part of this final effect now i just click one over here I just click over here and press tab to see viewport in 2D. Now what you have to need is to apply the proper input over here. So first of all I apply color and in the light property I have to define your vectors like normal vectors. So that is my N position vectors that is my P okay now you need to apply one light information so that is my point light that attach with this camera okay so after applying this light information you will get one more input node and that is you have to define your camera so I just define this camera through which I render this particular contain or object again one more input activate and that is your material so here I apply one material in my 3d menu and that is form material and you'll see over here Now in form material I have to change some value so I just double click on form here I prefer to reduce the color so maybe 0.8 diffuse full diffusion that is one and I have to reduce the specular to zero like this now what I have to do I just click on this relight node and apply one more tool and that is your invert tool so to apply invert I just press tab and write invert Okay, I just click control and add some dot apply mask of this particular main contain over here so it apply only in this particular area so I just invert the thing now I apply grid to control the luminance or the separation between this white and black so I apply one grade node even in that I also apply this mask tool and you can increase or decrease this value mainly I prefer gamma so now you see So basically I created one Fresnel mat. Now I want to apply a reflection over here. So if you already render the reflection pass over here then you can use that only. But right now in our example we do not have that reflection pass. So I just create one gizmo to generate environment reflection in new I will create one tutorial for that but uh, if you want this gizmo and that gizmo is an reflection so that gizmo is available on Wikipedia 
over here so with this wismo you can create a fake environmental reflection using just your normal pass so right now i'm using these things you can also find the link for this gizmo in description so here you need one environmental map so for that i just press r read button here i have some so i just select one panoramic image 360 degree apply it as environmental map and this is my source and what i have to do you have to define that normal vector so here and even you can rotate your environmental map okay so now i have this fresnel mat this is my reflection so what i have to do i create one merge node by pressing m this as b and this mat as a and i just multiply this thing okay i create one more merge node my main contain as b and my this reflection that fresnel reflection as a and add blending mode plus you can control this fresnel thing with this gamma when you can increase the thing like this okay you can see if i change okay when i change some more rendered thing that i already rendered like cloth so this is my original thing and here is normal pass poison pass sorry poison pass and this is my reflection this is my fresnel mat you can if you feel that there is some uh, anti-aliasing system so you can just apply one blur node over here apply some blur use some mask tool and you can easily control your fresnel thing okay so hope you like this tutorial see you soon with another tutorial thank you